What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We are at the US Open Los Angeles Country Club. I've had the uh, pleasure of playing this course and now getting to walk it and watch other people play, especially professionals, it's super cool. So anyways, we're here, it's Monday, it's a practice round. We've got a couple buddies out here. I'm here with Ben, my golf coach. Why you can't teach me to do that? So you had the prototype, it just said no labs on it, it was like all black, right? Yeah, it was all yeah. black, yep. So this mm -hmm. is the, the retail version. Okay. We're gonna walk around and uh, get the inside scoop on some golf, so uh, stay tuned. Whoa! Who knew I would make it this far? They hated, they never believed me. Yeah, I would never drop the ball, I know I'm making it look easy. Yeah. We're going to 18 real quick, and then we'll pop up over to 10T over there. If we stay like three steps behind Ben, we'll know everything's <laughs> good. I'll be official and let you pick up the rope for us. Care? Good. What up? Oh, How you doing? See you, man. What's up? Pleasure. Mookie, Austin. Hey, Mookie. Awesome. Okay. Nice to meet you. We're gonna you. come yeah, walk yeah. with you guys right. for a little bit. Nice yes, sir. Hey, how's it going? Yeah. What's up, buddy? <laughs> um, How you doing? I'm Alex. Alex, nice to meet you, man. So, I feel old. So, Alex, I taught in high school. <laughs> and then, he lived with me in high school, yeah. right? <laughs> oh, yeah, I lived with Ben. Little known fact, two-time state Maine junior champion. <laughs> oh, you were in 14, you were in Maine? Uh, I was in Portland. Oh, I was really? playing ball in Portland. Nice. Yeah, double A ball. How you doing? What's up? How you doing, man? Mookie, Mookie, nice to meet you. Yeah, Mookie, what's up? I'm uh, uh, good buddies with uh, Andrew. Andrew. Brad Van. Yeah. yeah. Just, I got. I got it on now. I literally just did a video for him on the short game area. Oh, really? Nice. Yeah, okay. Off this week or what? Just today. No, nah, just today. Yeah. And back at it tomorrow. Why oh, you can't teach me to do that? I mean, there's a there's a long laundry list of things I need to do. <laughs> One of them, I'm gonna need you to quit your, quit your day job. Okay. Well. Number, number two, we're gonna need to work on them hips. God, they work for my day job though. Mm. You got that one? Mm -mm. Especially not one-handed. That was nasty. Yeah, he's pretty good at it. Who's that? Kenny Lofton. Nice. <laughs> oh, there's Ben. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you good, man? How you doing? Good. I'm good. Yeah. What's up? Bro, you good? Good. You? Chilling. But you was play. watching Abraham yeah. answer. He was putting it in there. He was spitting it out of his stuff. Really? Oh, my goodness. Out of that? But he was doing it over there. That dude's hands he could have are unreal. Over here. He flipped it and it spun down and came down through that target. I'm like, you got to be kid Brad. <laughs> are you playing all week or are you going to play? Yeah. I'm just on off day tomorrow. I mean, today. It's your only day off. Yeah. Today and then I'm. Dude, I don't yeah, like your job. Dude. I like the money. I don't like yeah. the hours. <laughs> the hours, it's a lot of hours. Deal with it, bro. Yeah, you deal with it. You deal with it. He did it. 18 years. The guy could fall asleep on in four minutes on a plane. You learn. He he as soon as I, I, I before you takes off. Sweet. Yeah, we'll, we'll walk Hold on. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay, man. Let me know. Let me know. After the year. Oh yeah, I know. All right. There you go, man. All right, you guys have a good one. All right, guys. Green, that's 15 feet. So when you're playing, like right now, yeah. how important is like having a track man? Um, I do it more on the range, more oh, on yeah. the range uh, than out here. So they're just checking and how the ball is spinning. So, but when you when you get that information, do you guys make changes as far as? Like, yeah, sometimes. Okay. Hold on, anybody. Uh, guys so, like, they'll change wedges because yeah. it's, so they I, wanted to spin five I put, or whatever. I put, my wedges were getting a little worn down. Uh, like, week of Memorial, and I put fresh wedges in there. Those greens are concrete. What about, like, irons? Yeah, once I find a set, I keep, usually keep irons for at least a few years. Um, and then maybe you get a couple, like, eight, nine iron. They wear out maybe a little easier Cause you're, just because you're hitting them on the range a little more. You might use them a little more and um, just on the par fours and, and tournaments and those can wear out a little quicker so that's my problem then <laughs> most that, stuff's old yeah. must be mm -hmm. and that's I've been using it the last two years yeah but you play seven times so i don't think that counts <laughs> it doesn't matter two years bro it's old 
Why is your club taller than me, bro? <laughs> <laughs> how how far down do your arms have to go? Yeah, so you need shorter clubs than me. Yeah. Ben needs short clubs. He's got long arms. He, yeah, Ben needs swing speed. That's what he needs. <laughs> Easy <laughs> there, Tiger. Can you see your flex? I'm not there yet, okay? <laughs> Easy there. You got graphite shafts though, right? Not yet, okay? Is graphite, what is, I don't know. So, obviously steel. But now you can get graphite, it doesn't vibrate as much up the shaft. So when he was coming back from wrist surgery, I said, you should probably be hitting balls with a graphite. One, they can get a little lighter because his clubs are so long and it doesn't, like he won't feel it as much. Yeah, well, so is that why you trip one handed? Not related. Okay, yeah, tell me why I've seen that and I'll. Yeah. And I just was chunking and blading at like almost everything. With two hands. With two hands. Yeah, so I, I started the one handed drill to use the balance and just kind of let the club fall on the ball rather than kind of, you know, leading with the, with the hand there. And I started tripping back here. Like, and, and then when your first time doing it in a tournament, what was like, what was, what was your, your, what were you thinking? Like, I was definitely nervous. I was mostly nervous about what people were saying, you know what I mean? Oh, so it wasn't even on you, actually. It was just what other people were saying. The perception. Well, it's kind of like one of those things. It's okay to look stupid if you're good at it. Yeah. Uh -huh. Right? But if you're not good at it, <laughs> yes. Granny if shot. you're not good at it and you look stupid, like, that doesn't work, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. if you're a good chipper with one hand, people, I mean. It's accepting. So this is pretty cool. Here are different uh, perspectives on golf. Professional perspective. It's cool, you know, seeing uh, Mm -hmm. them in their element, not necessarily in the tournament, but in the practice setting, because it's when you get to really uh, see who people are, whether they, how they like to work, what they work on, just a lot of walking, but it's worth it. Go Dodgers! So what are the odds that they have A, an off day at home during this? Yeah. yeah Very no, rare. It was perfect. To be on the road. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, nah, we'll be home this week. Okay. I just, yeah, we just got, we just came back from Philly yesterday. Okay. So had you, you had, had you played this course before? No. Oh, this no, is your I've first never, time? I've never played golf in Los Angeles. Oh, wow. Before. Okay. I, the only golf I've played here, I played a junior tournament at Torrey, and then TaylorMade has their annual like get together uh and um november as at pebble and okay pebble spyglass yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. so you played the pro-am yeah there, uh -huh. that was super cool yeah that, that was, was super cool. Does, so does the ball go further here than florida no it's pretty similar it's the same. i mean the one thing the ball's going shorter actually for me because the temperature is colder Oh wow! Okay. In Florida, and this is about See, I thought I didn't know if I didn't know if the humidity would. Yeah, I mean, you know it's, it's drier out here, but it's. I mean, I think the ball for me is carrying like about two percent shorter right now. Wow. Been, All right. right. It makes sense. Golly. So if you have that bad lie, do you just do whatever just to get it back in the fairway? Yeah. I was trying to see how much I could get out of it. It's a good thing to it's a good thing to know, learn on a Monday, Tuesday. Mm -hmm. So what what's the difference between Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday? Like what is your philosophy uh, Monday and Tuesday versus Tuesday? Hit all these shots out of the rough, just like that, just to know how it's, we haven't played long for me to rough in a while, so it's nice to know how it's gonna come out of the rough. Um, mm -hmm. So you're just kind of getting feels for lines off tee shots. This is going to be a similar wind to what we're going to get every day, so these holes are going to play similar. So the, the objective is to, to not hit a shot that you haven't hit already hit. Yeah, at some point. pretty much. You okay. pretty much know, like when you're looking at the pins for the day, you know, you know, I put it to that pin that day. I know that you know if I hit it here, this putt's going to break a lot. Or, or how much it know. breaks, how fast exactly. it was. And you just kind of get a good gauge for getting very familiar with the course. Like you're almost trying to, you're like you're, like you're a member at the place. Yeah, so you're, I mean, you're comfortable so you know. come Thursday. It's different when you're hitting the shot and you know right. it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. This is pretty neat. 
I'm not gonna remember none of it. Maybe I can come back and watch the watch the channel and remember it all. Nope. <laughs> oh, were you going to this front one? I was. Oh, shit. I, I, hit it well <laughs> I thought you were going to that one over there. <laughs> I see. So you can tell he's an aim point guy, right? So he's trying to feel it. He's an aim point. What does that mean? I mean he's trying to feel the slope the in his feet. shooting a basketball, like yep, left hand to the guide hand, and this is, and mm -hmm, like, this is mm -hmm. the one doing all the work. Oh thought, yeah. So, like, uh, how so your left hand is- Yo, don't, don't sleep on our boy over here. Who? He's sneaky good shooter. Nothing sneaky about him. <laughs> <it. laughs> <Not that. laughs> Who'd you almost beat in that PGA Tour thing? You almost beat, I beat everyone. <laughs> hey, he's tired of disrespect, oh, man. man. Yeah, you're like giving me like, <laughs> sneaky good, almost beat. Yeah. I haven't lost in any shooting. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. So what kind of shot are you thinking there? Um, it's going to be a soft 52 or a good 10, 56. All right, see it. No. Sorry, guys. No. No. Not at all. I'm not embarrassed about something. So you don't really put it that far in the back. You're like not, left not, big toe. Not, not when you're trying to slide it. Slide it, what does slide that mean? Slide the bounce. Like oh, under it, okay. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. The more back you put it, the more Leading edge. The more you're, the more you're susceptible to leaning the shaft and digging the leading edge. So I try and I'm, I still have weight left. I'm trying to basically slide the bounce, keep keep weight forward, and basically just slide the bounce underneath. Mm -hmm. See how I'm just kind of yep. Like that way you don't even do it right anymore. underneath it. Yep. So I'm keeping weight forward. That's just when you want to go. Like I'm not like backing out. That's how you get the skull or the chunk. It's kind of like trying to help it up in the air. I just open up the face and let the walk. A lot to do it. It's a good drill to do that. Yep. Practice one, weight all in the left foot, right foot back. Just... Thank you, good Boris. Luck this year, dude. Thank yeah. you, man. Yeah. Good luck to you. Yeah, nice talking with you. Yes, sir. Good Thank you for talking. Good luck. Nice to meet well, you, bro. Yeah, we'll see you again. Yeah, yeah of course, of course. Together. Of course. Yeah, really nice to meet you, man. man. See you guys. I'll be watching. That was cool. I didn't realize the walk when you're not playing. Like if you're playing, it's bad, but it's at least you're playing. When you're just walking to watch, God, like, I don't know how people do it. Yeah, so we just finished up walking uh, part of the practice round with some guys that I know. Um, what was kind of the takeaway that you saw? I mean, you've played a practice round, right? But um, you know, what, what did you pick up this time that you might not have seen before the first time i mean when we did it i think being the player is different right because you, you're trying to collect all the information and remember it and then what was also different we tried to remember three different courses so now that they they get three practice rounds to remember one course it, it seems like when they go to practice and you actually are going to retain all the information from going to hit all these different shots that they go to hit Seeing how they can hit it whenever they want to hit it. That's one of, that's one of the cool things. Yeah, they, you know, that is the interesting thing. You watch them, they go, hey, I'm going to try this, I'm going to try that. And they just do it, they right, on command. It. And, that, it, and a lot of times, right, these are guys, we we're kind of with a group of guys that maybe the average guy didn't even know. Like, that's how good they are. Right, yeah. Right, exactly. that, that's the amazing part. Um, so now we're going to go to the to the range. You know, the, the trailers come out. Um, but for a lot of guys, mostly if you're not at the highest level, these trailers this week is good for them, right? Because they need to get fresh grooves, yep. get their balls. So that's going to be fun. Um, I know I know you've been in the trailer before, but... Yeah, it was super cool. The Wilson trailer, I mean, shout out to Wilson. Yeah, yeah. Been with them since I was in high school. But yeah, they uh, make some good golf clubs. And so go see, uh, see what it's like. Excuse me, fellas. I just want to say what... 
going on? Let's see, bro. Everything good? I mean, so far, so good. I mean, all right? Yeah. Nice. Right. Just uh, trying to make it. What'd you get out? Uh, we just got back from Philly yesterday. Oh, perfect. Now we could holler at y'all for a day and then we am going for a week. When are you playing next? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. All week. Yeah. You want to come to hit me? I was going to say, maybe I'll sneak out. Just hit me. That's cool. I'll see you, bro. Good luck. I'll be watching. Yeah, for sure. I'll see you later. How are you, Ben? How are you doing? Good. Great to see you. What's up? I'm about to go to the Wilson truck now. Oh, sweet. Can I join you? Come on. I got all the access. Come on. Come on. I see you hitting those dingers. Are you kidding? <laughs> Gentlemen, how are we doing? Good, guys. Okay. Oh, good to see you. How are you doing? How are you doing? I'm Ben. Right. What's going on? How are you doing? How are you doing? I'm good. Good. So Ron, Ron said to poke, poke our head in. Yeah, um, sure. We, uh, he shoots. Yeah, I want to get another set of clubs. Yeah, can do that for me. Okay. So all this truck, you got everything you need yeah. for one tournament. You name it. So like in here, it'd be all of our iron heads that we have here. Um, we grind them to weight, you know, we fit players for them here. We have all their specs in there, so we know. But if one guy needed a six iron replaced, we could just take the six mm -hmm. iron out of that. We wouldn't have to build them a whole new set. Compared to what's in here, we'd have all the specs. So you have like, all, like all the woods mm -hmm. in, in Every, here. Yep. Yeah. You have one of the new drivers? The one I got. You had the labs one. That one was really good. You like that, that one? That one was really good. So you had the prototype, it just said W labs on it. It was like all black, right? Yeah, it was all yeah. black, yep. So this mm -hmm. is the, the retail version. Okay. This is okay. where it came from. The prototype came came to this. That driver was yeah. fantastic. Yeah, this is done, right? This has been pretty good. So yeah, we can definitely build one up with this. What we got? So we all like heads. wedges and stuff here. All off. So just having all the different waiting for the wedges and the forward lines, different lengths and stuff. So I just got into some of them have more bounce and some of them have less yeah. bounce. Yes. So this has 10 degrees of bounce. Mm -hmm. This one has 14. So the yeah. bounce would actually be the what you're looking at is the number here. So mm -hmm. the higher the number is, the more it's going to not dig. It's going to want right. to come out around the lower number. The more you're going to dig. I've noticed in LA, I have one that has smaller. Probably like eight degree, okay, yeah. I, and then better for firmer condition. When I go back east, right. I forget that I have this same wedge. Right, it right. sticks in the ground a lot more. Yeah, so you definitely want to have a little bit more bounce. Mm -hmm. You can also change that by like sole width too, so you can kind of manipulate it. But if you were playing out here, I would say something with lower bounce, mm -hmm. and then you're going to go someplace else. That makes sense. So you got all the shafts are back here too. Yeah, most of the shafts are on this side. So if I was on tour, I called and said, "Hey, I need." A four iron and a wedge. Mm -hmm. Like, how quick would that turnaround be for those guys? For a tour player? Mm hmm. Like, it, they called right after. 20 minutes? Oh, it's quick. Okay, okay, cool. Yeah. So, I mean, it depends on what we have and what parts we have. But yeah, we usually can build them in 15 to 20 minutes. So, do, when do they use, when do they do most of the changing? You know, typically, probably in the off season more. Mm. Different courses like this, major championships and stuff, if the course conditions want it, they might go for a little, you know, a little bit less bounce on a wedge or change the like setup. Three on this yeah, trying to find something yeah. between two clubs and take the holes. So I just made it on three yeah. iron and he's just trying to get it, which is put a bit more loft on it. And it's just coming in a bit too long for him. Mm -hmm. So he's got a particular hole he wants to, to hit it to. But you would change a club just for pretty much kind of one shot? I would say that would be more common than changing like the whole set. Mm, okay. They're pretty much going to play guys with pretty much the same irons, the same kind of off the driver, same shaft. That that stuff doesn't change. Maybe the little stuff that would change. Maybe take out a long iron and put in like a rescue or a hybrid mm -hmm. when it's a little bit higher. Or maybe add an extra wedge in if it's a, you know, like here with all the rough. You know, yeah. It is, it might be looking for some more balance. And once they get out there and play, and they and see they come it, down. then they have a better idea. And we'll go out there and look at it with them and see what they're looking for. Nice. Yeah. So, all right. It's got everything we need to. Yeah. Where's the beds? You guys have beds in there? <laughs> in the cab. <laughs> in the cab of the truck. <laughs> all right. Thank you guys for yeah. stopping and talking. All right, guys, that's a wrap. We uh, got to meet a lot of good people to know, especially in the golf world. Got to see a lot of good people, number ones in the world, a lot of major champions, a lot of everything. And so we got to see uh, some really good ins and outs of things that they do in practice. And so that's super neat, super neat. Uh, we got to go in a Wilson truck. Man, may get some new clubs. We'll see about that. But anyways, uh, I just want to shout out everyone 
here at the US Open. Good luck. Good, I'll be watching and uh, we'll see you guys later. Stay tuned and make sure you like and subscribe.